Sony A6500 Review Features 24.2 MP APS-C Xmercimo Sensor 4K UHD at 30, 25, 24 FPS 5-axis body-based image stabilization ISO 125600, exp 251200 425 point phase detect F 169 point contrast detect F 11 FPS burst shooting 269 JPEG 107 RAW 31 slash 4000 seconds bulb 3 in tilting touchscreen 922K dots XGA OLED viewfinder 2.36 million dots Memory stick slash SD slash SDHC slash SDXC UHS I 453 grams body only with battery and memory card 120.0 by 66.9 by 53.3 millimeters the 24.2 MP XMR APS-C CMOS sensor has the same resolution as the earlier models, but it's paired up with a new front-end LSI and Sony's Bion's X image processor to produce this camera's impressive speed and performance. This is also responsible for full HD movie capture at up to 120 FPS, as well as what Sony claims delivers outstanding texture, clarity and sharpness in images, with low noise. It also allows for an increase in maximum sensitivity up to a setting equivalent to ISO 51200. The A6500's autofocus system is powerful and advanced. It uses a combination of 425 phase detect F points over the entire image area and 169 contrast detect F points. Sony says its high density F point array can seamlessly activate F points to track objects around the frame. You can also use the touch focus feature, whereby you tap on the touch sensitive screen to set the focus point or drag the focus point around the screen while looking through the viewfinder, something that a number of cameras with touch screens now offer. The A6500's 4K video features are especially impressive. To maintain maximum image quality it uses oversampling rather than pixel binning, the video is actually captured as the equivalent of 6K 20MP resolution and then downsampled to 4K for better detail. Build and Handling The A6500 doesn't look very different to the previous A6300 and A6000. Its rectangular rangefinder style design is neat and uncluttered, and it feels well made. The top plate has a mode dial, a control dial and two custom buttons, and that's it. The shutter release button and power lever are on the front grip. Round the back, things get more complicated, with the further custom button, NFN button, playback button, menu button, pop-up flash button and a focus mode lever. There's also a dual function, 4-way control pad and control ring, on which you click up, down, left or right for the display mode. ISO setting, exposure compensation and drive mode options, or spin the outer ring to make settings changes. Performance In single shot photography the A6500's performance is very good, with fast autofocus acquisition and snappy responses. When shooting images continuously, however, it's slightly more mixed. There's no doubting the power of Sony's autofocus system, but in low light at the maximum 11 fps speed, our hit rate dropped as the camera sometimes lost focus for a few frames with quickly changing subject distances. The in-body steady shot stabilization system is definitely worth having, both for stills and video. It can't compensate for careless and jerky movements, so you still need to shoot handheld video with some care. Although you can choose from three different autofocus speeds when recording videos to control how quickly the camera refocuses on different subjects. So, you can use a slower movement to give the impression of a smooth, pull focus effect. Image quality is good, with reliable exposures from the multi-pattern metering system, effective auto white balance across a range of conditions, and good color rendition. Collab results, on the next page, however, show that it lags a little behind never rivals for noise and dynamic range.